Hello everyone, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Dillings video. I would like to start by saying this. If you're using the bathroom, please close the damn door. And now I do realize that you might be like, well, I'm not expecting anyone to come by because, well, I've considered leaving the bathroom door open as well, and I always close it because the chances are not zero that someone will walk past and and to notice. Yeah, that, that's not appropriate. Close the door when you're using the bathroom. It doesn't matter how unlikely it seems. Close it. You never know who will see you. You just don't know. <laughs> Someone could. Even if you think it's not going to happen, do it because the risk is there. You're not living alone. And dear God. I don't want to talk about what started this because I'm still disturbed and I'm still damaged. I'm damaged! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm damaged because someone didn't close a bathroom door. Well, it's not really about the door. My mom is just like, but you didn't close it either. Well, if well, I'm using the bathroom, I'm using the master's bedroom for a reason. <laughs> and yeah, I know I was guilty of the same thing. I sound like a hypocrite. Okay, I got it. But I can be reasoned with. A certain someone else cannot. And I do realize that when you go through a lot of shit, that means that you're going to be affected by it. And you're probably going to be extremely damaged by it. But you know what? I would sooner trust you, Belle, during Season 3 than I would this other person over here. And do you know what you, Belle, would do to me in Season 3? They'd use me until I'm no longer useful, they destroy me, and then I don't exist anymore. I'd just be killed off, I mean nothing. But I would still trust them more than this other person. And yeah, I know that's a bit extreme, but come on. Come on! Oh god. Okay, now we know that I am venting. I know that I'm venting, and I know that it damaged me and traumatized me. Yes, I'm traumatized. I'm like, did I, did I, I don't want to be vilified. Don't vilify me for something that I didn't do on purpose. I had to use the bathroom at the exact same time. That's not something I decided. My body decided that. So I had to go to the master's bedroom. Uh, which is sometimes haunted for some reason, but this time around it wasn't, so I, I guess I was fine. Anyway, I went through a lot of shit, and it did change me, and I, I just read this text and I'm like, wow, shit, I forgot about all the shit I went through that changed me, and holy shit, you're right. <laughs> However, Cyrus is talking to Jaden, not me, but, you know, he could be talking to me. <laughs> he could be talking to me, I mean, it's the same shit. Just, you know, I didn't have a Yendere person coming after my life. <laughs> Although, to be fair, um... Yubel was after everyone else's lives, right? But you guys know what I mean. I've already discussed this. I don't have to discuss it again, but I'm still bringing it up, just because I can. But, I didn't, I didn't have, like, a Yendere after me, so I haven't gone through that, although, to be completely honest, um, at least I can say that. In some cases, I can't, uh, which is cursed, but, you know. To be fair, I'd probably be the one going Yendere instead. You may be like, what? Do not confess to this. We know what a Yendere is. <laughs> yeah, I know, but... I mean... Uh... I probably would. But let's be honest. The United States... Does not care about my mental health, okay? And here's the Yendere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you bet was a Yendere. I, I don't care what gender you are, or if you even have one. Everyone can be a Yendere. You don't even have to be human. In fact, you can be an object that has sentience, and you can still be a Yendere. A Yendere, yeah.
Anyway. I actually realized just now that I was afraid of what happened yesterday happening. I didn't know at the time that I was afraid of it because I was just like, um, oh, I was too busy freaking out to remember. And I guess everyone now knows what I did with my gems. I was buying bundles, by the way. That's how I got this third one. Though I did go to- I purchased them on purpose to get this third one. So it was intentional. I also have a fourth copy that will never be used because that's not how this game works. Although if you have certain skills, you can't actually have a fourth copy of a card in your deck. And because skills are skills and they're kind of, uh, they are different from the usual rules. But generally, you can only have three copies of a single card in your deck. Unless Konami says you can't. If Konami says otherwise, then you can't. So Konami says there are some cards you can't have three copies of in your deck, and uh, you better abide by that, or, you know, you're not going to duel. Okay, well, I'm finished. I went through a lot last night. My mom was like, okay, take deep breaths. The deep breaths, and I'm like, the deep breaths aren't going to help me. They are not going to help me. The problem isn't just me. Although, to be fair, deep breaths would have helped. And if I was talking to her myself, you know, like... Like, like if I was actually talking to her... Like, face to face, which would have been a bad idea. It would, it would have been a bad idea I was texting her all of this. And I was freaking out through text, and she could obviously tell. I mean, I wasn't hiding it. I mean, I was like, I'm venting in a way that doesn't harm anyone. That is why I am acting like this, because this doesn't harm anyone. Although my mom might be a bit worried, but I mean, to be fair, I can be reasoned with, and a certain someone cannot. Didn't I already say this? Anyway, let's move on. We know where this is going. Uh, I said I was probably going to, you know, lose a lot, which is probably going to be the case, but I decided to do this because I'm getting enough wins for that, so here we go. Uh, mm, damn. Okay, I don't really... I'm gonna set this on the field, and then I'm gonna set this card on the field. You know, so I can, uh, hold... I can't attack it. <laughs> that would be stupid. I've already made too many stupid mistakes today. I'm gonna make more, though. I'm gonna make more. <laughs> Why? Well, because I'm a disaster, and I should embrace it. I should embrace the fact I'm a disaster. It's easier if I do that. But so far, I'm still struggling, just saying. I mean, I'm going through a lot, honestly. People may not know, but, but I am. Oh, and also, I was talking about the cardiologist's office and how they want me to come by just to sign a consent form. Okay. You're going to make me come in for the for the you just want me there for like a minute just to sign a damn consent form. <laughs> that office is incompetent, and I'm just like shit. I don't normally say this. <laughs> Yuga's just like I. I'm sorry. I just I don't have time for this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you go. Um, the wonders of a country that requires healthcare insurance. <laughs> I'm sure other countries have healthcare insurance too, but not the kind this country has. The United States is, well, we've got a special brand of stupidity that I don't think can be replicated in, in any other country. And you may be wondering what I mean by that. Well, it's very difficult to say and explain because, to be honest, 
everyone in any country is able to be stupid. Every country has stupid people in it, okay? There is stupid people everywhere. No country is spared from stupidity. But I swear, this country has a very, very special brand that isn't seen anywhere else. And there is a reason for this, but I don't know what it is. Yes, there is a reason, and I don't know what it is. Okay, my turn is over. But yeah, the cardiologist... Is supposed to, you know, make sure I hear about whether or not my insurance is covering an appointment. I mean, if you hear about this, then say it to me like a week in advance or whatever you have to do to make sure that I'm not charged. Like, I shouldn't go to the office and hear at the very last second that my appointment is not covered by insurance. Tell me this before I'm at your office for the appointment. But they actually didn't go over the two different types of stress tests. While well, I was there in the office discussing it with the cardiologist. And let's keep in mind, this is a different one. This is a new one. And the old one talked to me about two different types that I could do. And... And you know what this means? The new one is incompetent because she didn't do that. And I'm not saying she's bad at her job. I'm just saying she didn't talk to me about which stress test I'm doing. She gave. She decided I'm going to do this other one. And I'm just thinking... Uh, I probably shouldn't though. I mean, you're supposed to talk to me about the... I should know which stress test I'm there for, shouldn't I? I mean, honestly, I should. I shouldn't go in there doing something that I'm not supposed to be there to I know there's more than one, and that's all I need to know about. It's ridiculous, I swear. And now the stress test I thought I was consenting to was the one where I'm on the treadmill, which is a pain in the ass, but that's the one I thought I was going in for. Now, the big thing that should have I should have known to ask questions because of the requirements. I don't remember doing- I didn't remember doing that the first time I did a stress test at that office. I should have been suspicious, but you see, my memory is pretty bad, so I just wasn't sure. I thought maybe I did do it. Because it was still a pain in the ass the first time. If you believe in your cards, the cards will believe in you. Okay, dude, they're not. <laughs> it sounds like Kamiyogi. Whenever I lose it, whenever I lose a duel, he's like, "You didn't believe in the heart of the cards." I don't want to believe in the heart of the cards. I want to believe in the heart of my ability to win through pure skill. <laughs> and then he's like, "That is why you lost." Damn, you and Kaiba have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I can't believe that just left my mouth. <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> but we do have some things in common, which is the most cursed thing ever. You may be like, but what do you two have in common? Uh, well, first off, hold on a second. It was very hot in here, and it still is, but... I, I just took off my jacket. You might be like, why were you wearing it? Because it was cold, and now it's hot. And I do this on a regular basis. Not really. I just do it every now and then, you know? Alright, so... Back to what I was talking about, which was, uh... Oh, right. What I have in common with Kaiba. Um, well, to begin with, I can understand his motive. I can understand his motive. I can understand his motive because I feel like under the right circumstances, I'd want to do the same thing. Maybe not in the same way that he's doing it, but I feel like I too could argue with death. 
I too could argue if I was able to, but I'm not. If this universe is boring, so I don't get to argue with death. If I argue with death, well, I die. <laughs> I die. You know, like a certain cat that just, you know, um, we're going to move on. I didn't watch that movie, but you know this saying, cats have nine lives. <laughs> after the ninth one, though, after, when you're on your last one, damn. I'm pretty sure I have an understanding of what that movie probably was about. Because I spoiled myself. I've got spoiler immunity. Which I demonstrated at one point during the uh, tag deal tournament. You may be like, what, wait, you spoiled? What are you talking about? Well then, you didn't watch Sevens, did you? I mean, to be honest, if someone watched Sevens, they know exactly what I was talking about. And if you did not, then you absolutely have no idea. That's understandable. Okay, I have to hope that he doesn't draw his ace. Luke, are you going to get lucky? Because you're very lucky, and, um... <laughs> I feel like he's going to get lucky. He's going to at least tribute summon something. No, it just, it's just a matter of what it is. Um, I've seen, I've seen decks with three Dr Dragaeus in them. I'm pretty sure this guy is... Pretty sure this... Oh my god. What are you going to do? What are you doing? Oh my god, no. The... What? Ugh. No, screw... No, no, screw you and your card. I don't actually have anything against the red eyes, just in case anyone was curious. I mean, I was talking about things I have in common with Kaiba, so, uh, I felt that was a good thing to elaborate on. Although, every now and then I do act like I have something against Joey, but I don't. I don't have anything against him, okay? <laughs> Although, again, you might think I do, just based on some of my actions. Okay, he didn't get lucky because he's decided to summon the Red Eyes. And I had it... I, I, I was very lucky that he summoned that and not something else. Alright! Well, I won. Good. That's nice. At the very least, I did something in this video. Although you've already seen me win, so, uh... Actually, was that the first one, or did I do another one? I think I did another one. Oh, right! Because my opponent surrendered. Yeah. I was in the middle of talking about healthcare insurance, and Yuga's just like, I don't, I don't want to hear about this. <laughs> yeah, Yuga... Yeah, I understand. I mean, I don't even want to think about it. Insurance companies in the US, they're extra, they're extra difficult. In fact, they're so difficult, I understand why you don't want to hear about it. <laughs> you don't want to hear about them. Meanwhile, Roa, you have to deal with this shit at some point because you have to know how contracts work, don't you? Yeah, unfortunately, you have to learn about that at your age, yeah. I, I, I think that would suck, you know? Just having to learn about contracts when you're, what, 10, 11? I think he's 13, though, and the dub changed his age. Okay, I need to fact check myself on that later. I need to fact check myself on that. Hold, hold on. I need to write down that I need to fact check Rose's age. You never know. Maybe, the, maybe he really is what the age he said he was. Actually, he didn't... No, wait. He did say he was- he just went to a better school than Roman. Which- okay, sure, dude. Um... This was not a good idea. I was distracted. You may be like, wow. Um, mistakes happen. They happen. Uh... I shouldn't make too many, though, because I'll get my ass kicked. 
But at the very least, I've shown that I can win. That is all people need to know. Is I can win. Um, there's another problem, though. Uh, okay, that's another problem. I wasn't thinking about that issue, but yeah, there is that. Okay. Yeah, and are you going to activate anything else? Hmm. Uh... Um, no! Oh my god, you ruined my move! How did you do that without knowing you are doing it? Um, that would be a waste of my t no. I think I know when I'm probably not going to- No, I shouldn't activate something if I don't think it's a good idea. I know that I do this all the time, but let's try not to do it too much. Or too often, I should say. Hmm. Uh... Oh, that's the same card! Well, good thing I got rid of it. Okay, um... This could backfire on me very easily. I'm sure Roa has a lot of ways to show me that he can just destroy me. But, you know, we'll see. Okay, you have to draw your cards, dude. Oh, God. You know, I can't sing. Unlike Roman, I can't sing. But I can in my dreams. That's like the one thing I can say in my dreams. I can do it. I do it a lot, actually. It's kind of weird. Makes me wonder. Um, what does that do again? Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna return this card to the deck. I probably should have picked one that doesn't require a tribute. I don't think I'm out of those yet. I am not, as my brain just sh Well, my deck just showed everyone that it really... Okay, hold on a second. I'm pretty sure he has... No, hold on. I think I know what he has. And if he's going to use it, he's going to use it. He's going to use it. Hold on. I expected this. And yes, I did use... I, I spent gems on that bundle as well. Okay, well, this isn't good for me, and I'm pretty sure my opponent knows that. So if he draws anything that can do burn damage... Uh... Roa does have cards that can do burn damage. Shit, Roa can do burn damage! Uh, did he draw those cards, though? I don't think it matters. He just has to tribute someone the right card. Um, Dragius, for example. I think that's all he needs, to be honest. Mm. He's gonna tribute someone, isn't he? Okay. What else? Oh, shit. Okay, it's someone's skull. Yeah, I'm dead. To be fair, I did this to myself as much as my opponent did. So, uh, let's be real. I caused my own destruction. I caused my own destruction. That wasn't good. I should stop. 
Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap things up for this video. In the next video, I will primarily be focusing on this tournament. I'm trying to max out my level. It's a good tournament, to be fair. I'd like them to keep this format, but... Uh, I don't think they're going to. They're eventually going to change it. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap things up. I wonder what the second stage is like. 